wrap up uh, eye movements, gaze control, by looking uh, for a moment at smooth pursuit movements. Smooth pursuit movements allow one to change the position of gaze uh, to follow a moving target. And there are a few interesting things about smooth pursuit movements. Uh, first of all, they're, they're not present in too many animals, okay? They're present in us, they're present in other primates. People debate as to whether cats have smooth pursuit uh, eye movements, um, and beyond cats, they're not, there's not too much debate. No, no, no one else have, has it. Now, there is a smooth pursuit of gaze using head movements, but not of, of eye movements. Um, and so one of the reasons we have them and other, other animals don't is because we have a, a large excursion that we can do, we can make with our eyes. We can, we have, our orbit is, is large enough that we can move our eyes from uh, a, a, long, a, a long path. Um, the second interesting thing about the smooth pursuit movements is that they, they require a target to be followed. So what happens with smooth pursuit is that there's a target the eye, the eye jumps onto the, makes a saccade to the target, but then follows along at the same speed as the target, okay? So it's a movement that goes along with the target. So you have to estimate the target velocity and get onto there and then stay on there. The, um, you, you can't imitate it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that you can't imitate. I will try to make a smooth pursuit movement that goes across my visual field. And what you will see is that I will make a series of, of jerky saccades, okay? So as I try to move my eyes, is it smooth? It's not smooth, okay, it's jerky. If I follow my finger, I can follow my finger very smoothly. Okay, that's a smooth movement and that's smooth pursuit. So smooth pursuit is a nice um, eye movement to test because it uses so much of the central nervous system. First of all, the error, the how, what's the error between where you're looking at and where the target is? That error is computed continuously by the cerebellum. So without a healthy cerebellum, there is no smooth pursuit. The, so the cerebellum is a necessary uh, processing uh, uh, center. There, we also need information from, uh, from the um, visual cortex, extra striate cortex. In addition, smooth pursuit movements are, are around 50 degrees per second. So in one way, they're actually just slow saccades. Uh, and in fact, what's now, what now appears to be the case is that the circuitry that gives rise to saccades gives rise to smooth pursuit movements. So you use your saccade circuitry, but just at a, at a slower at a slower rate to smoothly move um, uh, uh, your eyes to follow a target. And along the way, as your head moves, you still get to follow that. And how do you do that? You use the VOR. So the smooth pursuit movement is this really amazing. Uh, complicated movement that integrates the VOR, fixation, and, and, uh, and saccade circuitry. And so if that, is, if that is working for somebody, that's a lot of neural territory that's working well. On the other hand, if it doesn't work, you'll, if there is a lesion anywhere in that, in that um, wide, area, uh, wide uh, range of areas that are involved, then um, we'll see a difference, okay? Now, I, before we leave, leave gaze uh, control behind and move into uh, motor, the motor system more, more comprehensively, I just want to um, say that the gaze control is also under the uh, modulatory power of both the cerebellum and the basal ganglia. And we'll talk a little bit about that when we talk about the cerebellum and the basal ganglia. Okay, so on to uh, motor control.